flashlight It's something you can ride to and vibe to I'm just giving you the keys to survive Never let society tell you how to begin living your life By following the norm and trends I warn my friends, don't get blinded by the media I'd rather be myself, take flight, gotta speed it on speed dial And meanwhile, my dream right beside me with a smile She like. So what is going on here? A pole in the middle of the street Bunch of wires. Hmm. This is Chengdu City of Gastronomy, the series where I draw a Sichuan themed playing card at random and then I go out and find the dish in Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan and also the first Asian city to be named a UNESCO City of Gastronomy. So I'm Ryan and I'm excited to share with you guys today fish fragrant pork slivers. It's a bit of a crappy day out in Chengdu. Let's duck out of here. See it's raining out. Um, so I'm trying to avoid the rain for the most part. Hanging out with this guy. He's cutting up some of this gourd to make some thing. He's got eggs too. I don't know what he's making. But um, today I'm eating fish fragrant pork slivers. It's all about the fish fragrant sauce. It's one of the most popular sauces in China uh, that's from Sichuan. First thing you need to know is it doesn't have any fish in it. It doesn't taste like fish. I'm not sure where the name comes from, but just know that if you're not a fish fan then you don't have to worry about this sauce because it doesn't have any fish in it. It doesn't taste like fish. You're good. Oh, this smells really good. Mm. So I'm just entering this area. It's called the Worker's Village. And um, it's a pretty cool area in Chengdu. You should check it out if you come to Chengdu. Um, it's kind of old school. There's a market here somewhere and it's right downtown so it's not hard to get to. So probably the most important ingredient in fish fragrance sauce is... Oh, it's a dog. Hello, dog. Sorry, I get distracted easy. It's uh, pickled chilies. Mmm, tofu. I really love pickled chilies. When I go back to Canada, I always grab some pickled jalapenos, pickled banana peppers, and bring them back to China because it's hard to find them here. Let's see, which way to go? This way or this way? The pickled chilies in Sichuan are really spicy. Uh, they're good though. I'm actually, while I'm cruising this market, I wouldn't mind trying some fresh. You can see these little rows of houses here. They're really tiny little things. Uh, built for workers probably, hence the name Workers Village. Oh, here we go. This is probably the market area. I own Benji's cause I like the face. Like the face. Up in Canada, it's not the same. According me, you need some yellow tape. Ooh. Kill the beef, then we get some steak. Get some steak. Full for that, I even lick the plate. Lick the plate. Full for that, they even lick the base. Oh. Paper chasing's not about a race. No, no. Sketchy lines, they go and get a race. Hey. I was rapping in classes, I'm trying to learn the pocket Made this an outlet cause I know the plug gon' fit the socket I need a place where I can tweet and get the birdies flacking I have been adoring the game, it's time to get to knocking Yeah, call me Chigga, just know I ain't rich Talking shit, I'm smelling plenty fish You gon' marvel at this iron fist Decipher this, but you won't see no wit Out of and is take it over and take advantage This year is colder, earth acting different, but who could plan it? Go grab a bandage, I cut you off like a Look at how beautiful this is, it's tofu This is tofu It's do Okay, ah, how do Mm. That's really good. How to? How about you? How about you? How to? 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 This market has over 150 vendors, uh, fruit and meat vendors. It's one of the bigger ones in downtown Chengdu, so even on a rainy day like this, there's tons of people out at uh, maybe 10, 10 a.m. I think it is. Not too many people get to see the stuff. I'm a cop and Mickey, I don't need a cut. You don't get the message, I don't send a message. I don't need a question why you went and said it. Last line talking, I hope you get it. This be all I need.
need, I'm not offended with it. Man, stuff is smelling good. It's lunchtime. I'm going to find this food now. Um, there's probably a lot of restaurants along here that serve it, but I'm going to go to one of the most popular fly restaurants in Chengdu. Okay, this is it here. And it's got a great, at lively atmosphere uh, and great food. Uh, okay. Wu Shang Rosa. Wu Shang Rosa. So there are a ton of Wu Shang dishes in Sichuan. My favorite is probably Wu Shang Chiesa, which is uh, eggplant. Chinese eggplant, different than the eggplant we get in North America. It's fantastic. I didn't even like eggplant before I came over here, but I don't know if it's because it's Chinese eggplant or I don't know if it's the way they cook it, but that's one of my favorite dishes in the whole time, I guess you could say. So Yu, yu means fish and Shang basically means fragrant, but there's a bit more to it than that. And here it is, we've arrived at the dish. Um, there's a bit more to it than that though. You'll see it all over menus, but you'll also see it to describe things like, um, for example, Xiang Gang means Hong Kong in Chinese, and that means literally is fragrant port. Xiang uh, Yan means fragrant smoke, and it's the word they use for cigarettes. Um, there's all kinds of examples like that. Xiang itself can also mean incense. So the main ingredients to the sauce is uh, pao la jiao, which is pickled peppers, and equal parts garlic, ginger, and green onion. That's like the majority of the sauce, and then people add water or cornstarch basically for the thickness of it. And then they'll add dou ban jian, which is a bean, fermented bean sauce, or other things like sugar maybe, they'll, they'll throw some of that in to sweeten it up. Other stuff for flavor, but the main ingredients, pickled minced pepper, ginger, garlic, and green onion. Okay, let's try out the sauce. Um, I, normally I wouldn't recommend just trying the sauce. It's mostly oil, but uh, just for the purpose of the video. So you get lots of sweet and sour taste to it. You get uh, definitely some spice, a little savoriness, but it's a very complicated um, set of flavors. Like everything's included, really strong flavors. It's fantastic, really tasty. Uh, the pork is super lean. It's probably a center cut loin, shredded up, cut like thin strips, and fried up for just a short amount of time, maybe a couple minutes came out fast, so couldn't have cooked it for too long. Really tender though, that's because they cooked it fast. Now the vegetable strips, these guys here, that is called asparagus lettuce. Sometimes it's known as uh, celtus. Hmm. This asparagus lettuce. or even lettuce stem, uh, which is basically what it is. It's a type of lettuce, big long root to it, some leaves on the top. The leaves you don't eat so much of, they're pretty bitter. But the stem, it's got a good crisp kind of texture to it. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it absorbs flavor really well. It's one of the vegetables that I hadn't had before coming here and I fell in love with it. The Yu Xiang sauce is really thin here, which is normal for this dish. It's supposed to be oily. Sometimes they'll thicken it up though for other dishes and make it almost gooey. I like to combine 
combine it with rice, which is not the usual way to eat it. A lot of Chinese people will eat the dish and then they'll eat rice after to fill up. So it's kind of like a contingency plan almost. You didn't quite get enough heat, you shove some rice in your mouth. It's super loud in here, super bustling. This is just one of the rooms. There's another room back through there. This place is awesome. The dish, dish is, the menu is pretty solid. The uh, menu actually has English in it, so it's great for Westerners. Along with my food, I got this drink. Um, it's called like Five Grain, something like that. It's really pretty tasty and it tastes healthy. It tastes like uh, soy milk a little bit, uh, but it's got some extra stuff in it. I'm sure whatever they put in it extra is pretty good for you. It's really hot, so it's nice on a rainy day, I guess. I also got some cabbage and glass noodles stir fried up. It's really good. And it kind of has flavors that Western Chinese food has. It tastes more like Western Chinese food. Yeah. So I let my seat back, listen to some three stacks Always been an outcast, my past, you keep that See my future with the high beams on The dreamers like this is my theme song Although this life seem wrong Man, you can see this place got busy I got in there right before the rush But uh, it's packed now, there's a wait They're calling out numbers uh, So, good on me for getting in there as soon as I did Fully stuffed, fully satisfied I'm feeling uh, pretty good and I really I recommend that place and it's just down the street from the worker village so you can maybe do that together these witches nowadays modernizing it's kind of sad thanks for watching Chengdu City of Gastronomy if you enjoyed what you saw you should subscribe below if you've already subscribed you can hit the bell icon to get yourself notified of any upcoming videos and remember keep it fresh Keep it real. Hello. Oh, fancy cat. He's talking about me. Ah. What was I saying? Keep it fresh. Keep it real. When it comes, keep it tasty. When it comes to a meal. Okay, ready? We're gonna mad dash the street. I'm an excellent mad dasher. Dash madly. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. It's a Poe.